what's going on guys Bernadette here and today we're playing minecraft water blue edition minecraft pixelmon water blue edition to be exact and it is episode 10 and last episode we finished off fighting off the ssn people and now we have the atm cut we got in and we are ready to take on the gym leader yeah alright Vermilion Pokemon Gem Leader Lieutenant Surge. How shocking! Aha. Okay. Gotta make it in the cup. Gotta make it in. I got missed. Okay. Now we do Bailey. All right. I don't know what's going on with the first one, but we're going against Voltorb first off. Also off. Well, off recording. Pre-recording to be exact, I was training them up, and as you could see before, I had all my Pokemon up to level 26. Butterfree learned Psychic, or what is it called? Give it a second, it's coming back up. It's coming back up, give it a second. It learned Psybeam, sorry, not Psychic, Psybeam, and I made it forget Confusion, because who needs Confusion whenever Psybeam causes the same thing? So I have a feeling this is going to be a very shocking experience with the electric types. Magnemite, ooh. Just keep using Psybeam. Just going to keep using Psybeam, that's all we got to do. That thing is so tiny, look at that. It's a tiny... Are you stuck? No? Oh, come on. Why are you going to pull out those jag moves? Come on, Magnemite. Oh my goodness. I wonder why there's hoppers here. I don't know. Is it like that in the game or something? We hit through with Psybeam. Maybe we can change Pokemon. What is good against electric? Dragon? Let's try flying against electric. I have no idea. I can't remember. For the life of me. We're just gonna pull out Butterfree. No, we're gonna take out Butter. We're gonna take back Butterfree, and we're gonna put out Pidgeotto. Wow, that that was a big hit. Goodness, hopefully Gus does does pretty good damage. No, it does not. Oh my God, we just made the biggest mistake. Do we have nothing that fights up against this? Why are you such a jag? Why? Is it, is it a fire type? I'm so confused right now. Look at Charmeleon, he looks so serious. And that Magnemite is just twirling its little... <sighs> Why you do this, Magnemite? Why you such a jag, man? Oh my god. I won't even... Wait a second. It said I was paralyzed though. We got one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. We got ten gold coins from that. Oh my god. Now we're gonna do the smart move. We're gonna go out. Come on. Go back to the Poke Center. Heal up and then take on the rest of them. Because we're not going in with three of our Pokemon already like status affected. So. I'll clue you guys back in whenever we're done and we're ready to fight the next trainer. Our healing process took so long, the music stopped. That's how you know it's broken. Can't use any of them. They just get raffles on. Okay. Now let's go back over there. Let me in. Got the, got the, there we go. We got the HM cut. And we go back in there and we're going to use Charmeleon. Just straight up. I'm just like, yeah. What's up, Tucker? Dude, am I like right? It's like sometimes I'm right-handed and sometimes I'm left-handed. Like sometimes I'm right-handed and I just like 
chuck it from the right side, and sometimes I'm left-handed, so I, like, chuck it way too far to the left or something like that. I don't know what's up with that, but I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, accustomed to different different people's ways of throwing Pokeballs. I have no idea. Oh, we're going against the Pikachu. My Pikachu can Pikachu also. But we're not going to do that, because then it's going to put us at a stalemate, and that's just going to be really boring. Wait, do I get to make my move? Wait, I used scary face? I didn't even click that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even recognize that I clicked that. Whatever, we took him out. We won the battle. 16, 17. Jesus, how rich are these people? Like that. Bang. Bang. There we go, okay. So now we got Lieutenant Surge. And... Well, I'm just gonna pull a cheeky pokey heel, whatever. Alright, so let's start off with... Yeah, let's just go with Charmeleon. Let's just go all out against Lieutenant Surge. Alright, this is gonna be a shocker. It's gonna be a shocking performance. Hopefully not by the gym leader. I want to be the shocker. He will be the shock one who gets shocked like who is shocked I will be the shocker I will shock him even though he is an electric gym leader See, we're just gonna use reverse psychology against him and he's just gonna be so confused he just beat a pokeball alright now we take on oh my god another Pikachu it likes to Pikachu Charmeleon do not let him Pikachu do not. I repeat, do not. Under no circumstances can he Pikachu. You gotta remember that. Stay strong and do not let the Pikachu Pikachu. Raichu. Ooh. Charmeleon is level 20. Oh, I, I thought, <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought it went up like three levels from just killing a Pikachu. Killing something that peeks at you. Wow. Electric jokes. What a shocker. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm so funny. Yeah. Alright. So we, we're going against a Raichu. Use double team. Evasion was increased. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't think that was a stat. You can't evade a dragon breath. Alright. What is he doing? Oh. Alright. So we got the thunder badge. We got thunderbolt. And how many, how many of these do we have? Okay, so we have one, two, th okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. That's four, twenty. Twenty-four gold nuggets. Jeez, that's a lot of gold nuggets. Oh, my God. An insane amount. Can I click okay? Oh, my goodness. We beat Lieutenant Surge. What a shocker. Ah. All right, enough with the puns. Let's get out of here and head on our way. Oh. You know what? Should I do this right now? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this. I don't wanna do any I don't wanna choose any radical decisions. Alright, so now we go to the quest book. Alright, so we already did that. The rock tunnel. We gotta read this, okay. So go through Diglett's cave. Find HMO5 Flash. Go through Route 9. Use HMO5 Flash to go to the rock tunnel. So go through Diglett's cave to find HMO5 Flash. Okay. Sorry guys, I just have to keep doing that so I can actually read it. So we got wow, we are just we are just so rich. I just want to point that out now. This is Diglett's Cave, right? We're supposed to go into Diglett's Cave. Go through Diglett's Cave, yes. Whispers to you, Diglett's Cave. Okay. Excuse me. Let 
million. Hmm. Route six. Route nine. Pretty much taking us all the way back. It's pitch dark and scary in there. If only I could get a Pokemon flashlight it up. Do I have it? If I had it, I'd be the biggest face palm. Oh my god. How do we all how do we get all the way back over here? Route two. Nicholas Cave. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet again. Where do we teleport in here? We're in Diglett's cave, and now where does it take us? So we're at Route 2. We go over here. We're at Route 2. We're at Route 6. How do we do that? I don't know. How am I doing that? How is that doing that? I don't know. Route 11. What does Route 11 have to do with anything? 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Go past Diglett's cave. I think that's what it says. Go past Diglett's cave. Find HM5 Flash. Alright, so we found Awakening. Let's we'll start off by just taking out all these trainers. This is going to take forever, so I'm going to add in all the goofy farts and see you guys whenever we get through all of you. Oh my god, there's so many trainers. It was wrapped by Ekans. Whoa! That drowsy just appeared out of nowhere. You know what? I kind of want it. Drowsy. What if I want the drowsy? What if I one hit it and then I can't get the drowsy? And I cry earth him. I might as well have it. I mean, I'm rich. I can get any any numerous amount of Pokeballs that I want. So, I mean, what the heck? Why not? Let's just see if it catches. Wait, he got out. No? Yo, green shirt, move! I can't tell. can't tell if my Pokemon is caught or not. Green shirt, move! Green shirt, I'm getting tired of you, alright? You need, you, need, you need to get a move on. Okay. Drugs. Where are you going? You are a danger to yourself and everybody else. Alright, we caught him. It's gonna take a little bit for it to register. Darn Eddie getting in my face and all that. At 11. Pretty sure I go over there and then take a left or something like that. What's up, Hugo? Dude, you got a crazy purple hairstyle. I'm digging it, though. Oh, God. I didn't throw it there. All right, so you're on his side now. I see how it is. You're on his side now. 
see you. Or turtle, I can't, I can't believe you did this to me. After all we've been through. Why? Why? No, I'm just kidding. We still best pals. Bernie tried to tear us apart. If you flinch to this other ma- like, it's a magnet. What is it gonna do to you? Is it gonna, like, attract you to its own, like, central of gravity or some shit? I don't even know what I just said. I don't even understand. Now they have magnets on. I love how we have the best view for this battle. We can see absolutely everything from here, except for the battle. Oh, there we go. We get to see my ear the ears. To see the ears. I think War Turtle is about to faint. If he doesn't one bang him. Yeah, I think War Turtle is done. This is such an intense battle. I mean look at that leaf. That leaf is just so tanky, man. That leaf just did not want to let go. Alright, so we got eight and nine. We got nine. And just because we're lazy, we're gonna do that. Nidoran male's attack was decreased. No shit, because this thing is so huge and gigantic and intimidating. You do not want to fight against this thing. That's how we do. You have a Zubat. Dude, he grew wings! Dylan grew wings! Dylan, did you just get bit by a vampire? What did I just witness? Dylan, are you okay? Uh oh, Dylan's not moving. Uh oh. Dylan! Dylan! I think we lost him. He was a good trainer. Until. Sadly, one day, his Zubat just bit him in the back of the head and took him off and dropped him. Saddest trainer battle I've seen in my life. Hopefully nobody else will have to go through that same fate. And I watched it firsthand. I just saw the Zubat come out of its Pokeball, bite the back of the Dylan's head, and just take off. Careful, I'm laying down some cables. Drowsy. Well, that's not going to go too well. As long as there's this huge Gyarados in the middle of the whole route. I think he might actually be able to fit in between the route. Like the, the two ends. Maybe. Just maybe. We, need, we might need to figure that out. Alright, so 12, 13, 14. Yeah. No, that's 10. Gosh, I don't know how to count. It's gotta be creepy, like an animated Pokeball. You go up to pick it up and it just explodes in your hand or like it electrocutes you. It's gotta be scary as heck, though. Like, how did you catch him? Like, did you accidentally pick him up as a Pokeball? And then he moved and then you threw a Pokeball at it and it just like... Formed, I don't know. Fire Fang. We do not need Scary Face. We are scary enough. We got 12, 13. Alright, so what is that? One great ball. Okie dokie then. I think we're just going to have to end off the episode right here. I was hoping we'd get a lot farther, but... I mean, we did everything but the actual thing. I don't know. If you guys know what exactly I'm supposed to do... Even though this quest book is pretty straightforward, I have no idea. I'm pretty lost, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. This is a little frustrating right now because I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully you guys can help me out, and talk to you guys later. Take care, guys.